Hello, hello, very good morning, my dear friends. This is Jeanette filming another video for you in which the house will be full of surprises. I really want to welcome you in this beautiful new day of life that God is providing us. Thanking you uh, for tuning to my channel. Thank you for the uh, your support for all of my subscribers. Thank you for the new people that are coming into my life through this gorgeous platform. I am a professional makeup artist and I'm stationary on the city of San Antonio, Texas. All of my videos, my friends, are from 4K using 70% of natural light and 30% of artificial light for the purpose of the image. I welcome you, my friends, as I'm going to begin in to this new makeup tutorial slash review slash surprises slash having fun together. I am a professional power lifter. I used to be a bodybuilder. So I encourage you, it is imperative for the health of your skin to start exercising, um, doing any kind of physical activity always is going to be a plus and sleeping rest i'm going to get ready to start this beautiful makeup tutorial day don't forget to subscribe like and comment to my channel please i really appreciate it because that way my channel keep growing okay i invite you to be part of the family Thank you again so much for your support and love. Using my Chanel Le Corrector Concealer on the JB10, I'm going to apply the product on the inner of my uh, eyes where it is the main problem of my dark circles. And I have a message for you, my friends. It is no makeup, 100% perfect. Okay, I want that you understand that. I don't want that you get really hard on yourself. I want to mention, I did conquer finally, you know, my Dennis Cross lip plus repair plumping serum. I know that many people are not reacting very well because it is a strong serum but in the information says that you should be applying one dot. One dot is a lot of product from here. It's not even half of the pump. It's like a, I'm sorry, it is a quarter of a pump, okay? So I did apply one of the mess one of the best because I have another favorite moisturizing priming which is the vitamin and rich face base primer from Bobbi Brown so I did that and for my eyebrows as many of you have been watching me I have my favorite brow pencils and Valentino the trio eyebrow Pen is one of them with Benefit Cosmetics, the procedure, and it's clear. I love uh, many stuff from Hermes, but I, have, I never, never reach out to the foundation. And today is going to be the second day using this amazing product, the number 40, which is Chambry. Chambry. And they, for first time, I got samples because this brand normally don't provide samples but surprisingly I got sample of the foundation and I'm going to apply a tiny little bit of this 40 chambre as you can observe over there I would love to say that it's a tiny little bit darker for my complexion but let us see how this performs. Yeah, as you see the shade is a tiny little bit darker but let us see how dark it is. Okay, because normally I go between the 20s and 30s. The first time um, I did use 
this foundation samples was the day before yesterday, okay? And I got in love with the texture of this foundation. I really enjoy it a lot. It's very soft, it's super blendable, it's creamy, very thick, okay? But when you apply it in your skin, my friends, it's like a, applying your moisturizer, okay? The texture of this foundation, as you saw, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and texture on the chin area as red cheeks, okay? Um, if that is true, this foundation is not covering completely everything, but it's even, okay? The unevenness of my red cheeks and the texture. I don't know, what do you think? If you can give me a feedback about it, I would love to hear what do you think. So now my friends, I'm going to come with my eclat to check eclat from YSL to the J0, okay? Uh, the J0, I normally love to use it, you know, for the purpose of light. I love this product, friends. So the beauty of the makeup is to help you, my friends, to enhance your beauty, not masking, okay, your face with product. Okay. All of my foundation are light, medium coverage. i rather to build coverage. You already know as well, I'm going to be listing every single of the product I've been using today for this makeup look on the description box below, okay? So I'm getting ready for the next step. Really, all the parfum, and it's called all a ginger, okay? So my friends, we're going to start. Oh, oh. it is a bouquet. Of flowers this is the bottle okay this is the size you get normally uh, if you want to carry up your product on your purse are you familiar with this beauty that is coming we are talking about the 05 ombres fumi I hope you can read the information there okay so let us find out together, come in this stunning, sliding, traditional orange box, okay? And come with this beautiful pouch. Then the material, I know that people say that it's like a canvas, but it's more like lining, okay? And inside have a little pouch. You can see there, it's a tiny little pouch in this corner, and there you find this gorgeous little brush. Oh, look at this, oh. these hairs, we're going to speak about this very first uh, eyeshadow palette and come with this plastic tray and this is what we have I know this is the palm on my hand and this is the size of this stunning eyeshadow quad I'm going to give you a little more information the amount of product you have here is three grams. And let me tell you that I was comparing 
uh, the size of this eyeshadow quad with the Chanel eyeshadow quad and Chanel is two grams of product okay so if we're thinking here that Arme look at this okay this is two grams of product this is the tweed limited edition from Chanel so what I'm, I'm making a point that this eyeshadow quad from Chanel okay I pay if I do mistake 98 for this because this one was limited edition the tweet only two gram of product for the price that I paid of a hundred and eight dollars okay and like I'm saying I think this is just a stunning friends I really like it and I proceed and I order the 06 Ombres Motoris. I bought these two shades because I thought that look at this it's so beautiful the mirror is beautiful size you know you are on your car and look at this shades is a eyeshadow quad we're going to make the swatches friends because I want for you to understand what we're talking here and we're going to use both for a makeup look okay so I'm swatching it is a very bad storm happening just now and it was a, a tornado, so you hear thundering, that is what it is. And the light is going funny as well. So you have the two first shades, oh wow. This is a gorgeous satiny silver, and this is a stunning, like a cool tone brown, super creamy, amazing texture. <coughs> This is a perfect, beautiful eyeshadow palette to do a smoky eye. Or you can use it also, you know, you have a body and you have a pop of bling bling. This shade is so beautiful. It is a metallic, definitely. It's not a shimmery shade because the particles that you see over here, friends, are very consistent and creamy to make it a metallic shade is just stunning and we're talking again about the eyeshadow number five ombres fumings and now moving to this beauty oh look at this metallic shade Oh my, oh wow, it's a beautiful, beautiful gold, oh my, look at that, and then I'm going to the lightest champagne, in consistency, we can say that it is, this one is a dry wet formulation, and this one is not shimmery, because the body color is extremely little, okay? But it's less shiny and metallic than the texture and consistency of this gold. So let us continue on the bottom. Then we're walking to the two matte shades, which is this beautiful, gorgeous burgundy. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my eyes, friends. Look at that. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to. So this is the shade on this. So my friends, what I want to do is to create two eye makeup look. How gorgeous it is. Let me just by the touch, I can tell you that this formulation is just stunning. Okay. 
I don't see any fallout on the palette. Okay, my friends, I'm here. Uh, for uh, time-wise, I was applying my Gucci, the J03, 02, I'm sorry, 02. So remember to avoid demarcation lines, you know, always soothe your product after the application with your foundation brush, okay? So that way you produce a better blending effect, okay? How this cutie is going to behave, I really like the density, it's super firm. So I'm thinking to start with the Palace 06 Ombres Mordure. I'm going to start applying see the lightest shade if I can apply a tiny little bit on my brow bone let us see how this behave understand when the brushes are really um, dense it's going to give you uh, all the payoff on the eye okay it's a gorgeous gorgeous champagne shade okay super subtle nothing extravagant going on on the eye let me start applying the gold because that is going to help me with that for the transition okay and let me start with this gorgeous beautiful burgundy shade okay and I'm going to start applying this. I don't know if this is going to be producing fallout, but we're going to try to do a bold eye makeup look, okay? I'm learning with you about the formulation, friends. The product blend dreamfully. Look, one touch I did on the palette. <gasps> Friends, one touch. And I keep moving the product. <gasps> you need to go little by little. The formulation of this burgundy mat, Friends, look, one touch. I haven't touched the palette again. It's so beautifully creamy, had a satin finish. Friends, I still moving the product. So now you can explain yourself the, the dilemma of the price. This formulation is in another level, friends. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Friends, I'm going to use the four shades. Let me try the very dark shade on the lash line, okay? My upper lash line and to see how that works. So I'm using the mini brush. This is another kind of makeup look you can do with this as well. The only thing that I can tell you is that the consistency and the texture of this formulation, it is just stunning. I'm going to dip a tiny little bit more of this shade on the mobile eyelid, okay? And I'm going to start applying this brown. I'm going to do the opposite, okay? And let us see what happens. I'm so scared to just apply the organdy shade.
Have you ever seen such a thing? I want for you to observe the finish, okay? I would like to say that you can see it there. Yes, it's a purple light, it's a beautiful champagne shade and the mini brush is just a dream. I just love it. I'm going to apply this. Let me see. Friends, I keep moving this shade. I not even touch anything anymore. Literally, these shades are like you're applying silk on your skin. So look at this. It's a little illusion of the depth over there. Wow. What I like from this uh, metallic shade that I'm applying here, friends, it is that it's super subtle. You can observe it is this one okay i put it really exaggerated there if you want to stop here and you don't want to add any other thing in your eyes friends you are perfectly fine i use it for shades okay the champagne shade is the one that I did apply as a pop of color on the inner. It's just delicious. Now, if you want to apply, let it, I have a very pretty color that is, it is called Brick, which is this one, look. I'm not really dissatisfied. But I think for this purpose, this one might be a little better. Take in consideration, this palette will release for the holiday season. Just concentrating, you know, the depth on the outer corner is all what I need oh my I have no words this palette my friends the texture is like a silky satin bell tea and the moment that you touch this product friends is not producing look on my lower eyelid it's not producing any kind of fallout i'm not going to eyeline my eyes but i'm going to apply mascara okay and i'm going to use the mascara you already know which is my mask go mascara gucci Look at this. Look at this length comparing with this eye. Oh my, a beautiful palette we got here. <laughs> I still very speechless. How pleasant is to work with a product like this. So friends, using the zero six palette ombres. Mordores 06 palette. This product was manufactured in Italy. Let me see if I can find a little bit more of information. It is the powders with a matte satin and iridescent finish, intense and luminous colors, long lasting formula 
of natural origins. 72% to 98% of the ingredients are from natural origins depending on the texture and shade. Okay, over here it is the information and the list of the ingredient. They separate the ingredient according to the colors. And I'm going to do something really creative. I'm applying this gorgeous like a metallic shade on this area. Look at this. So now I'm creating, okay? Just on that line of my eyebrow and the hairline of the eyebrow. Look at that. It's something little. Wow, look at this. Friends, <laughs> I want to promise you I've never done a makeup look so quick and easy. Okay, with this, you don't need too much. I'm going to proceed and apply a tiny little bit of my Christian Louboutin. It is a setting powder, my friend, uh, to place it under eye. It's the 10 Ivory Neutral. I'm going to be using this fluffy brush from Sony G. If we can get this result with this palette and I thought that was very insipid. I honestly thought and this palette was really insipid. Let us go and see what it is about this other shade. It is called Ombres Fumes or Fumer. Okay? What we can do with this shade. Let me start applying this shade all over my eyelid. Like I'm saying, we go from surprise to surprise, okay? This shade is super subtle, super subtle, very pretty. I love the fact that they are cool tone. Wow. I'm going to start mapping. Look at this shade. It's super different. It is like a, a real khaki using the other side of this blending brush. I'm going to start applying this color above or on the mobile eyelid. The craziness of this formulation, friends, is one touch on the product and look, I keep moving and moving and moving the product. So it's not patchy at all, not this formulation. Look at that. So now, with a black shade, I'm going to start applying this product along my lash line. Okay. Just 
to the inner. Look at that. Just with a shadow. Oh man. Friends, this is just insane. And I'm going to ask for my Padma Bride again. Since we're coming to the metallic silver. Thinking. We are in holidays, okay? This is not really like a silver silver. Oh, look at this. Look at this, friends. Okay, over here looks super silver. But look at that. I can set enough. Because of the price, I was thinking you don't get any other color, friends. But this is kind of making me change my mind. This is just insane. Let me apply a little bit of mascara and I come back. Hello, hello, my friends. I'm here with both eyes done. I have no... I'm so speechless. I'm so speechless about the performance of these two eyeshadow palette from Hermé. The only thing that comes to my mind, you know, this Hermé, they actually know what they are doing, okay? I'm applying a tiny little bit of the silver. The only thing that I can tell you, my friend, and they really know what they are doing, okay? Uh, the quality of this eyeshadow, if I can compare it with something, it might be Tone 4, okay? Tone 4 is the closest thing that come to my mind for the dry wet formula. If you want a sparkly by the night. The only thing that I can add to all what we have seen and experienced together here, than the technology that they are using on the infusion of this product are just mesmerizing. Now, since uh, we need to put a little bit of blush, since I don't own any uh, blush uh, from Hermé. Okay, I did ask for some help to my blush, rouge blush from Christian Dior, the recent launch. It is 211 Precious Rose. So I think, okay, this shade was perfect for this kind of a eye makeup look. I want to show you one more time what was done okay, since this palette was released for the holiday season my friends I'm assuming we want a makeup look that it is you know a little bit more for the holiday these two beautiful brushes look at this how gorgeous they are and now my love so we're going to be speaking about lipsticks Army. I want to give a little glow to my face and for that purpose I'm going to use Rose Atacama the 01 Plain Air and with a powder brush from Sonia G. I just go and swirl and I'm going to start buffing. It's just good enough. 
this powder is just stunning. I got this shade last year, or well, at the beginning of this year, I think, uh, from Hermé, the center shade, which is the very ivory. Anything and everything that I do, I need to be careful because it's crazy, okay? Just using the ivory shade on the upper lip. Look, <laughs> I put too much, okay? So if you are thinking on investing, you know, in any of Hermes product friends, okay, I know that they are not really cheap, but you are paying high quality for all of this product. I'm going to proceed. I'm going to use this lip liner, Le Crayon Le Brace from Chanel. And the shade I'm going to use is the 158. And it is called Rose Natural. I like it, look, judge by yourself. I lip line my lips with a 158 Rose Natural from Chanel because the next surprise are these babies. The recent launch on the collection for fall winter are three shades and the fourth shade it is an existing shade. I'm going to give you the name. The fourth shade that I did order, it is called the Autumn. It is an existing shade, as I'm mentioning. Come with this beautiful canvas. This uh, is called the Beige the Autumn 20 Satin. This is the shade. I'm going to start, since we are applying, talking about autumn, fall, we're going to start applying this product and I'm going to demo each of the recent launch shades so you can see. So this is in the category of satin. I'm going to fix something, but this is the chain. Rouge Abyss 84 Brilliant. So this is a bias or abyss. Can you see how dark? this shade look on the on the lipstick look at this but when they perform on your lips they are not strong okay how stunning uh, the amount of uh, emollient that this product have my friends mm. it's like a, a bomb okay it's, it is like a conditioning to your lips. So beautiful. Even though if I go with this smoky eye outside and a lipstick like this, it looks stunning. Or in the other side, if I go with a burgundy and using this shade, friends, look how pretty. I mesmerize with the texture and the formulation of all of this product. Next shade, which is called Prunar 90 Brilliant. If I didn't show you the cover, it is with a logo from Hermes. They are super similar, my friend. Let me show you this one with the other one because they are extremely alike. This is plum with brown, okay? Which one that I have now 
and this one have more pink okay there's a great difference we are talking about pruner okay pruner which is this shade this one is a plum with brown and this one it is also very deep plum but with more pink if we have to go out with a makeup look like this it's very pretty because look kind of bold okay because this color over here it is like a burgundy you know and have pink in it and now the very last and for shade is the rouge bruni 72 brilliant knowing that these people work you know we literally 84 the least and 98 percent of natural ingredient and we're talking about natural infusion look at this cover friends the same kind of pouch i just want for you to observe the detail and my deodorant is simply gold and black existing shade what it is about this gorgeous bruni look at this oh, oh my i would love to say that this one is exactly as the color that i did apply on my eyes i will be listing every single of the information of what I'm using today so if happen my loves that you love and you come across and you fell in love with some of this product I highly recommend it I know it is not cheap okay this brand is not cheap it's because they produce quality okay and uh, regarding the eyeshadows you know these two shades I bought oh my I I don't regret it because I think the pick I did was just what I was needing. I'm working with the last shade since I've been removing and applying the product. Just I want for you to observe how stunning it is. I'm giving you a tour to each of the shades I got for the 2023 autumn winter collection from Hermé. We are going to be talking, okay, about the infusion of this mesmerizing product. These are all the shades I've been trying today. Any of these shades, my loves, that I just demo on my lips with this makeup look can go amazing with what I just did. When I buy something, my friend, I'm looking normally for the versatility of the product, okay? Because I don't want just to buy something but then it's going to serve just for certain makeup look, okay? We are in an era right now in which we need that versatility of the product. You go to a meeting with something like this or you can go to a dinner with something like this and just look mesmerizing at this point. I don't have any lip liner because I was removing and putting, removing and putting. I'm going to provide a little bit more information about this product, the creation. The Rouge Hermes Autumn Winter 2023 collection introduce the three new limit edition okay that are as intense as they are luminous sophistication and elegance unfold as dark hoods magically reveal contrasting colors once applied so that is what i see then no matter how contrasting the shades on my eyes are they are looking just stunning.
okay the color rouge abyss which is this one is an elegant burgundy with a touch of cobalt oh, blue a true night time sun and the melting texture brings radiance and comfort to the lips like a veil i can give faith of that because now and i was removing and moving this skin of the lip got stress or stress out okay but once and i apply the product i feel the comfort again of the moist okay the melting texture bring radiance and comfort to the lips like a veil and this variation of dark colored who is leave a subtle translucent foam on the lips a surprising nuance shade with a luminous finish object feature blend the shade that resemble an ombre lacquer haze made in italy all of these including the eyeshadows so all the eye makeup lip la uh, lipsticks are all made in italy so my friends they are limited edition but if happened that you can invest in any of these product friends are a must go my friends i hope that i keep you completely entertained having a good time all together here and i'm coming a little bit closer to the light so you can observe everything thank you so much for being my company today thank you very much for staying with me today thank you very much for tuning to my channel today thank you so so much supporting me on my channel for liking and viewing my my channel thank you for what i have to say my i have a broken english but i'm improving every day <laughs> i am from chile so i have a very strong accent but thank you friends for your love I'm going to have some pictures after this so you can have an idea what was done over here using all Herme. So thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you because this channel doesn't have any sponsor. I have no obligation, my friends, of being providing a false feedback because I buy all of my product. I'm the one that I test the product. So the opinion is if that is true it is all about preference but my opinion it is as a professional makeup artist no. thinking if you are going to buy the product okay so again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to make the right settings on your devices so you can have the best quality possible so i leave you with this beauty Bye. I love you all.